Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's September 22nd, 2023, and we are starting to see the change into fall outside. Um, yeah, we had a wet summer, and now I'm hoping that we're going to have a dry, warmish fall. That's all I can ask for. When I woke up this morning, it was 5 degrees, so we're getting close to that frost temperature in the evening, but it has risen to about 18 today, so it, it's kind of nice out there now. It's dry. Uh, this weekend... Uh, we have nice weather tomorrow. I think it'll be 21 degrees. And then we might get some more rain again on Sunday. That's the plan anyways for right now. So hope, fingers crossed, that we're going to have a nice fall as we get into the new season. All right, the things you turn, tune in for are post-crossing on Fridays. Uh, today is no exception. Uh, a lot of mail showed up. So we're going to get into that. I have five official ones from post-crossing. If you don't know what post-crossing is, it is a fantastic hobby. You can go to postcrossing.com. You can sign up, register for it, get a chance to send off five cards right away, which uh, you get addresses randomly generated to you. As soon as they reach their destination and then get registered, then people will start sending you cards in return. Now, not from the same people that you've sent your cards to, they are also randomly generated, so you're going to get cards from all around the world from different people. Uh, if you're a stamp collector, you get to see stamps from around the world. If you're a postcard collector, you're going to see a variety of postcards. And if you're just into uh, making connections, you're going to do a little of that too, because people write little or as lot on their cards as they want to. And if you want to respond and ask for direct swaps, you can do that. Uh, I certainly have... Uh, gotten some great pen pals as a result of it, some good friends through post crossing, uh, through YouTube. I get people that message me as well and send postcards and uh, tell me their story. So I really appreciate that. So uh, if you're interested, check it out. It's worth it. We're going to get into the official ones first so you can get a chance to see what that's all about. The first one is this one here. It comes from Texas in the United States. Uh, it comes from Mary and she's a retired flight attendant and also a fan of the Beatles. So I really appreciate this, uh, uh, Mary, and uh, here are the stamps that she sent. So two of the endangered species one, and then the added postage there to make it so they can send international rate. The reason I say that um, and word it in that way, uh, Snail Mail with Smokey put out a video today uh, on the 22nd as well that explained the uh, U.S. postal system and the uh, postage stamps and what a forever stamp means. In Canada, we have uh, P stamps. The little P is on them, which is the exact same thing as a forever stamp. It means that you can send the postage um, domestically whenever you want, even if the rate goes up, that stamp is still valid. So he does a good explanation of explaining stamps and what you can uh, use for international, if you like, rather than using a forever stamp. So Mary, thank you for taking the time and sending a few different stamps for the great Beatles card. And uh, I hope you enjoy your grandchildren and your retirement as well. Next card I have um, came this way. I'm going to show you the stamps because the stamps, the address, and kind of the card itself, the image, are all on one side. This comes from uh, China, from uh, Guangzhou, and from Lizzie is the one who sent it. There are the beautiful stamps. And on the back, uh, she put the message. She's also got a, a stamp there and added a couple things as well. And she says her city is famous for a dim sum and uh, dim sum is really great in her location. So uh, I should come and visit and eat some of their great food. Well, one day, hopefully I will get that opportunity. Um, traveling those distances right now is not feasible, but one day I hope I can, because I would love to, to explore the world even more. All right, my next card comes from Germany. It's a Thousand Chen card. She found this one at a local bookstore and found it for me to send off. I asked if I like it. I really do. It's beautiful. All these cards are amazing, the amount of work that goes into them. And then on the back, we've got one of the uh, celebrations of 100 years of Disney stamps. I think this is my first one I've received from Germany. So thank you to Kristen for sending that off. I really appreciate it. I have another card that arrived from Germany as well. This beautiful garden. And this comes from Babette. And she says this is a, a monastery garden that she visited a year ago. It's also famous for housing a museum of musical instruments. And the stamps on the back, she says she grew up near here. 
I love that combination, the two stamps together that has the, all the image. So thank you, Babette. And this next card comes from Spain. What a beautiful mailbox. You can see uh, one mailbox for mailing letters within Madrid and one that are leaving the province. So there you go. And this comes from Montese. And she is also retired, but she's retired from the Postal Service. So she's a fellow postie. Uh, she says she loves music and traveling. And she, she throws this card especially for me. I appreciate that. And there are the beautiful stamps that tell stories of their own. So thank you so much. All right, those are all the official ones that I have. Let's get into some of the direct swaps, some of the surprises that showed up. The first surprise is this one here. It comes all the way from Australia. It comes from Steve, and he said he wanted to thank me for putting my videos together on YouTube. He enjoys watching them, and he gets a uh, feeling that uh, I'm a nice guy. I hope so. Uh, thank you also for showing us the garden. It's nice to see how gardens thrive and what grows in different climates. Uh, she says he's very capable of growing weeds. So uh, yeah, I grow a lot of weeds in my garden, in my yard too. I grow plants that basically have to fend for themselves. Once they've been planted, uh, they might get a little pruning and things like that. But other than that, they got to learn to survive. And so my grapes, my kiwis, they, they tend to do that, the fruit stuff. Uh, my grass, sometimes not so much that in the front, uh, I've got patches every year. I try to put more seed down, add more topsoil, more... Uh, lime whatever it happens to be treatments for it and there's a patch that's super shady that grass just does not want to grow but thank you so much for this and uh, he says this is a picture of the local area where he's from and there is the stamp he chose to send so thank you steve for reaching out uh, getting a chance to say hi and uh letting me know you watch the channel um it's great to have viewers around the world this next card comes from my friend uh, Basil in India. And uh, so he's got this one here showing you a bit about what an old uh, going flour mill would be like in its purpose in creating. Uh, he uh, gives me a nice confirmation on the back and uh, kept telling me to keep going with my YouTube. Uh, I appreciate that he watches and that he uh, also is a big supporter. And there's some nice, beautiful stamps from India. Next card I have comes from Christian in Austria. He went to a meetup in Vienna. So he chose to send me this card. And then on the back, you can see all of uh, the people that went there. You've got a, a Daisy. Some of you may know Anita uh, and Carl. They were all there at the same meetup as well. And there's the great stamp, the beautiful cancellation. So thank you, Christian, for sending me that and for all getting together as friends and, and chit-chatting. I appreciate it. This next card, flying through time and space, is, of course, the TARDIS from Doctor Who. This comes from Snail Mail with Smokey in Wisconsin in the United States. And uh, he says, uh, summer has flown by quickly. It certainly has, as I said before. It went by quickly, and we didn't get the summer that we'd hoped for, so we're hoping for better seasons ahead. I know some people have struggled with wildfires, um, flooding, uh, hurricanes that have come through. There's been all sorts. Some parts of the country have had uh, an opposite effect. They've had incredibly dry summer, super hot, and uh, wildfires. So we all have something that we should be happy for and complain about, um, but be thankful that we are still here at the end of the day. There are the stamps that Smokey sent me, so he's giving me a bit of a variety there. I appreciate that. There is his uh, stamp down there at the bottom, and uh, you should go check out his channel, Snail Mail with Smokey. We did a uh, um, stamp versus stamp video together, which was super fun. Uh, about a week and a half ago, that came out. So if you haven't seen that, you should go look at, at it, and uh, you'll have to look at his video of it too in order to get the full inspiration. All right, this next one is of a kite festival. This is the annual kite festival in Long Beach in uh, Washington State. This comes from Kara. Kara says that uh, her in-laws go to this every year, but has she's yet to do it. If she gets a chance, she really should. We have the kite festival. I showed it in a video earlier this summer here that took place in Dieppe. 
which is kind of the sister city to Moncton. And uh, it was really fun, really relaxing too, to watch the, the kites float around. Kara's even got this extra stamp she's put on. I like it, there's the forever stamp and she's done some decorating. So thank you so much, Kara. All right, this next one kind of blew me away. We're gonna look at the card and uh, talk about it at the same time. This comes from my friends, Andre and Merritt. They're from Estonia, but they were in Wallace and Fatuna, which when I got this uh, Flags of the World card, I had no idea where this was. They've traveled to some amazing places. The last one they were in was in New Caledonia in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, well, this is in the Pacific Ocean as well. Uh, I'm gonna throw up a little image so you can see where exactly it is. I wanna show you the stamp on the back and the cancellation. And we're gonna talk about what the card said about the country. So uh, the population is only 11,558 people. Uh, it is a high altitude volcanic, volcanic island. Uh, Fituna is made up of two kingdoms, Alo with the airport and Sigav, which has the harbor. It's located over 16,000 kilometers from France, but Wallace and Fatuna are mostly undiscovered by tourists. I uh, say, why are we talking about France? It's a French colony. Uh, with the fascination and tradition of Polynesian culture still vibrant and alive today, uh, it is the uh, part of the French Republic. Since 2003, Wallace and Fatuna has been an overseas collectivity. So there you go. An amazing adventure. Thank you, Andre and Merritt, for, you know, whenever you're doing these amazing travels to post offices around the world in remote locations, um, you always send me a card. So I really appreciate that. We met at a uh, meetup here in Moncton because they happened to be coming from Estonia and traveling through and got to go to the meetup, and we've been friends ever since. So it's just one of the relationships that you can meet through post crossing. So I'm a big supporter. You meet people from around the world and you can create lasting impressions. So thank you so much, Andre and Merritt. All right, these next few cards come from Media in Finland. She mailed this one when she was in Estonia with the beautiful stamps. And inside, we have this nice hedgehog uh, card, which her cousin, Sana designed or illustrated, so they did a fantastic job with that. And then we have this yummy dish. She said she was in Tallinn spending the day going to museums like the uh, Pop and Contemporary Art Museum. That just makes me want to eat pizza. <laughs> That's what that card does. Um, very good. All right, so she sent that envelope. I'll put that aside. She also sent this one. From Finland, a new Finnish stamp there with the uh, Volkswagen bug on it. Reminds me of Herbie the Love Bug. Did you, have, did you guys watch it? Was that part of something that uh, was in your movies that you watched in TV shows? It was a Disney show. I'll throw a picture of it. Uh, Herbie was a talking car. Well, not talking. Uh, he was a live car. So he would beep and honk and make noises, but he could drive himself. And uh, it was just a fun, fun one. She sent this card as a vintage card though. And she said she got it from uh, an event in Tampere. And she also sent a World Post Crossing Day, a World Postcard Day card. So it is nice to see these starting to show up. I've been sending some of mine out now too, sporadically. Um, so even though World Postcard Day isn't until October the 1st, it's nice to start getting them out and making sure that they arrive by October the 1st, or if you're sending them out through post crossing, that you pull that address on October the 1st so you get a special badge on your profile. Then the last one I got from Midia, I also got had this amazing stamp on it. The butterfly in the, the woman's uh, profile here. And inside the profile, there's all sorts of foliage and things. If you don't have this stamp, you haven't seen this stamp, you should look it up. It really has a lot of amazing detail in it. And she sent me this map of Finland, which shows a whole bunch of the different things you might see if you were traveling there. 
And then she sent this one here, Tom Powell. So it was a nice sunny 22 degrees when she was there, even though this is showing kind of a wintry scene. Um, sometimes we think of that. We think of uh, North countries like Canada or Sweden or Russia or um, Finland. That there's snow there all the time. Well, no, we have summers. We have all the seasons as well. Um, so it does not have a blanket of snow on our countries all the time. Um, you can enjoy the beauty of winter, but you'll also enjoy the beauty of summer too. All right, moving along. This next one comes from Eric in London, Ontario. So last week he sent me a couple cards that he'd created. One of them being this one here. Now he has said that he's gone out and I can tell he's gone out. The last ones he made, he made at Staples. And so he's gone out and done the same thing that I have and the Smokey has and have made cards through Canva. They are much thicker, much better cards. Um, so even though this is the same image as before, uh, it's a much better card. Great thickness to it. So he writes, uh, hello, that dad guy watched your videos since you're the Canadian Post Crossing King. I don't know about that, uh, <coughs> especially because I know there are lots of people that have been doing Post Crossing way longer than I have. Uh, maybe I'm just more public with it with YouTube. I'm not sure, but thank you for the compliment. I had to listen. I made this card with Canva and I like it so much better. You got me into Post Crossing and I love it. And then he asked me a riddle. He said, riddle me this. And then the next cards he's going to send will have the answer to it. So I'm going to throw the question out there. And then uh, I'm going to give you guys a chance too to leave comments. See if you think you know what the answer is. And then when we get the answer, we'll see who's actually right. His question is, I am taken from a mine and shut up in a wooden case from which I am never released. And yet I'm used by almost every person. What am I? And uh, he says, try to answer it in the video. Good luck. Taken from a mine, and I'm shut up in a wooden case. So I don't know if it means that it has to be dangerous, that it's kept in a wooden case. I'm not great with riddles, I can tell you that much. Um, <clears throat> and I'm used by almost everyone. My first thought was carbon, so coal or something. Uh, the people all have carbon in them. I, I thought about air, but you don't really put air in a wooden case and never is released. Uh, when it went into a mine, at first I was thinking too of a, a canary. You always take a canary down in a mine and, uh, and you don't release the canary, but not every person uses a canary. <coughs> I don't know. My guess is going to be coal, but I know that's not it. It's going to be something more. Uh... You guys are going to have to come up with the answer. Leave... If you know it, write it down. Or if you don't know it, but you think you know it, write it down in the comments. Let's see how many people can figure this out and that are way smarter than I am, which probably is most of you. Um, he also has this little envelope with this wax seal on it. I haven't opened it yet, so let's open it now. And it says a gift for the king of the post crossing, post crossers. So I like these little envelopes. So I've torn it away from the seal. And inside we have, no, we have some stamps and a, a note. So we have this stamp and this stamp. This stamp, which you can see there's a G on it, so that has significance to it. And this one, which is one of the uh, provincial ones. So those four stamps, and it says the most con uh, controversial thing in post crossing is the envelope or naked postcards. I am a pro envelope guy myself. Please not try to th throw Please not try to throw up. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, to me, the message is the most important. Enjoy these stamps, Post Crossing King of Canada. Um, no, it, it's great to have envelopes. Look, Media sends her cards in envelopes, and uh, she does that because she wants to protect the postcards inside. She wants to make sure the machines don't chew them up, and I get that. 
Uh, with this, you also get to have the stamps. So if you're a stamp collector, you can rip them off the envelope, soak them and put them in your collection. That is another advantage to doing the envelope thing. Um, but I don't mind this thing either. This, this is what the postcard is meant to do. It's mostly go through the system. Um, if the edges might not be crisp when they get here, they may be, but they have beautiful cancellation marks. But I can't take the stamps off this without wrecking the envelope. So you, it's a catch-22. So yeah, I'm fine either way. Send it in an envelope and then I get to have beautiful stamps for my stamp collection or send it in the mail as is and maybe do a secret thing like this. The secret envelopes are great and they last. For people that are wondering if they make it, they do make it. Um, I had a question about recipes on my That Dad Guy Answers and uh, had one washi tape to a card and it survived. It made it here. So yeah, you can do that. And then he also sent a picture of he and his girlfriend that he's turned into a card as well. And he asks, um, this is a seasonal card. He asks if I do seasonal cards. And uh, my family used to, we used to, every Christmas, we used to make take a picture that we did as a family and send it out as our Christmas card. Um, after we lost our dog, um, yeah, we stopped doing them. I don't know if it was a direct relation of us losing the dog or now I, I don't mean the dog ran away and we don't know where she was uh, yeah she passed away uh, she had a heart condition and uh, that was the end of Paige our uh, Weimariner and uh, that was pre-polo we had three years where we didn't have pets after Paige and so I don't know if we got lazy and decided we weren't going to do cards anymore or it just didn't seem the same without the cards so we had did the pictures before before page we put out cards uh, when it's just my wife and I and then as our children came we added them to the cards and then added the dog to the cards and then that was it that was the last time we did our family uh, Christmas cards it's kind of sad because it was nice looking back at those memories and seeing how they were um, but yeah time moves on we stopped doing it oh well <clears throat> all right moving on to the next card I got was this blue cat card this one comes from Judy in Florida in the US and uh, she said she went on to mymagicalcard.com and bought some postcards and they had blue cats and they had this Canadian one you can see there's Toronto in the background there with the CN Tower and for those of you it is the CN Tower not the CNN Tower it has nothing to do with uh, the Turner Network uh, it is Canadian CN stands for the Canadian National Railway and that's who uh, built that tower and uh, Judy has put all these beautiful endangered species on it. Okay, Smokey, if you're watching this, don't look at this one. That's the snake. There we go. But great stamps, whether you're a reptile lover or not. Some really cool ones have come through. Uh, thank you, Judy, for decorating it too nicely. You can see she's got a maple leaf in there and gold maple leaves down there. And it was 24 degrees in Florida when she sent it. So thank you, Judy. Next card, it comes from one of the uh, Unicorn Gang. This one comes from Renee Lewis. This is her version of the World Postcard Day that she created. Um, these are mailboxes in California that uh, when she went to see her son, she took this picture. I guess there would have been another one probably up here or a sign or something that's now gone. Renee did a great job. She's got unicorns all over the back. She's got the forever stamp and... Uh, she did a nice message. She said she watched a Netflix documentary the other day about blue zones. So blue zones are people, uh, areas where people have more people that live to be over 100 years old. There are, I don't know, five or six of these blue zones on the planet. And uh, so said one of the reasons they gave for people living this long is because they have a group of friends they keep them in contact with regularly. So she says thank you for being a friend and helping me live a long life so uh, i hope that works because uh there's lots of you great people including renee that keep uh, in touch with me and uh, make things special so thank you renee lewis go check out her channel she's from arkansas in the u.s all right another world postcard day card showed up this is actually one of the original ones that came out there's a little bit of controversy about this and i got pulled and then another one came out but i'm glad to have one of the originals uh, this comes from Robert and Nancy in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, 
there are the stamps. And uh, she says it's starting to cool down here. He says it's starting to cool down there a bit. Uh, he says so hopefully because his air conditioning is broken. broken. So one, I hope you get your air conditioning fixed because New Mexico is a place that you need to have your air conditioning. As you well know, when he sent this card, it was 32 degrees out. You wanna have air conditioning for that. Uh, so I hope that gets fixed for you quickly. And uh, in the meantime, hopefully it cools down a little for you. But thank you, Robert and Nancy, because I see you've added Nancy to the, the card too. So we'll give you a shout out to your wife as well if she happens to be watching this video with you. The next World Postcard Day card I got came from Jilly of Jilly B Living Your Life Her Way, another YouTuber you got to check out. She is also another Unicorn Gang member, uh, maybe the OG of the Unicorn Gang. And uh, she put on some amazing stamps. So one, we've got the King Charles stamp, but more importantly for me, we have the Paddington Bear stamp. Paddington Bear, uh, his books, his cartoons when I was younger, um, played a good part in my life. We had a Paddington Bear stuffed animal. Um, yeah, Paddington, I love Paddington. He got into so much mischief with his marmalade sandwiches and just trying to be curious and just trying to get back out of those situations. So the bear from deepest, darkest Peru uh, made his way onto this postcard. And you can see all the unicorn stuff and the World Postcard Day washi, which is fantastic. So you did a great job, Jilly. The next card I have, greetings from the Caribbean. We've got a Lego card and this comes from Jessie and she's in Puerto Rico. She makes these cards herself. She does a fabulous job. I haven't heard from her in a little while. So I was tickled pink to finally get a card from her. She has decorated it with lots of beach items and some beautiful stamps. She says, uh, this summer has been a hot one. So luckily for her, it's been a hot one, uh, but it's starting to cool off. Now she's just going to be careful of the hurricane season that comes through when she sent this. It was 87 degrees. So I am hoping she will stay safe and no hurricanes will come her way. And none of those hurricanes will come our way either, which sometimes happens. All right. The next card I have comes from Zach in Illinois. It's a huge card. And uh, he started working his night shift at his new job. So good luck with that and uh, keep protected. All I needed was a good plant with a good root. And you can say that about having good friends as well. He also sent me this, which comes a little early. Probably the first one I have. We've got a long neck giraffe for Smokey, but it's a happy birthday card. So he says, I know it's early, but the mail is slow. Sometimes the mail's slow, sometimes it's not slow. Uh, this time it got here way in advance. And just for those of you who are asking when my birthday is, it's not September, it's in October. So we've still got a little ways to go. Um, this next card comes from Kyler in Prince Edward Island. He created this card himself. So here we have a uh, upside down card. There we go. <laughs> that looks better. So this is Prince Edward Island, an aerial view of Prince Edward Island. And then down here, you've got Cape Breton in Nova Scotia and the rest of Nova Scotia. And this little tip right here is New Brunswick or part of New Brunswick <coughs> and the Northumberland Street. So he created this on the back. Um, he's even gotten a, a special cancellation or stamp. It says that one cent for Canada mail and two cents for US foreign printed in Germany. So that's cool. Uh, so he said, one of my latest attempts at self-printed postcards. He says, I have a better backing. He scanned all the old postcards and then had used it. So this came from an old postcard. He reused the, the format onto his new one. That's great. Now, Kyler originally sent me some postcards before he created, which uh, caused a bit of a storm uh, in a good way. People really appreciated um, the cards, the humor. And I told him that when he sent me this card and because Prince Edward Island and New Brunswick are so close together, he put another envelope together for me with some other cards. Um, I am going to give you a heads up warning that if you do not like, uh, nudity <laughs> or the male form, maybe, uh, you may want to look away. Uh, normally my channel is super 
family friendly, and uh, I still want to say that it is, but uh, we love all sorts of the uh, male form. I am going to, or all sorts of uh, the body and cards that are out there. And traditionally, when people send cards, uh, you can get lots of pictures of uh, women in bikinis and things like that. Uh, you don't tend to get a lot of males. And so when I've sent cards off to friends before that uh, have been male oriented, they go to female, I think people appreciate it. They get stuff that they like. Uh, so he had sent this card. And uh, so he had these printed with his latest batch of postcards. Uh, you'll probably have people who will appreciate them. I will, I actually will. I mean, this card's written on, so that one's going in my collection. It's not going out to the world. Um, we have uh, these gentlemen who are uh, draped in the pride flag. And uh, for those that are, you can see how he's done it in the back. Same thing as the other postcard he sent. Um, we are having all sorts of debates around the world about uh, LGBTQ plus um, messages. And so uh, I'm a supporter. Everybody live your life. And... Uh, don't hate there's no reason to hate people are just love is love that's whatever it is so here you go there is a one there and then we have uh these two people holding hands draped in the flag too so that's great this gentleman decided he didn't want to be draped in the flag so he's draped himself in an inner tube instead he's getting ready to go uh splashing someplace this guy's done splashing he's all about hanging out by the pool hanging out maybe this guy decided to leave the pool and actually get some yard work done so he is out in his garden uh, this gentleman was finished doing the yard work and decided that he'd go hang out in uh, the bedroom and pose his muscles and uh, this last gentleman decided he wanted to be back by the pool again so there you have it there are some cards that you can make yourself. So that's kind of the moral of the story too. If you're from an area that uh, doesn't have a lot of postcards or doesn't have a lot of representation of maybe your town or your city that you're from and you want to take a picture and turn it into a postcard, you can. Easy tools, easy places to go to. Like I've talked about before, Canva Online that Eric in Ontario used and that Smokey in Wisconsin has used and that I've used here in Eastern Canada. Um, they're easy, they're quick, relatively inexpensive. I'm not sure where Kyler does his cards, but he did the same thing. He's created his own cards to send out. Easy to do. I appreciate it. Now, the last two things that I have uh, come from Lila in Maryland. She sent this envelope and this envelope, and I'm going to wait for another video to show you those things. She has been great about uh, sharing things that have to do with philately because she went to a uh, stamp exhibition recently and won some lots of things and bought a few things too and uh, she's been sharing some of her purchases with me I really appreciate it because it means I get to share them with you and if there's something interesting that uh, I didn't know about I get to do some research on it and talk about it so we are going to get to those in a future video and where this video is already quite long for what I normally do I'm going to wrap things up I'm going to say thank you to everybody that sent this I'm going to say tomorrow is that dad guy answers. So if you haven't given me a question already on last Saturday's video, go ahead and leave me a question and I will answer it tomorrow. And that's it. There is a fest festival in town this weekend, the Mosaic Festival, and I might be attending that tomorrow. If I am, I will shoot a video. I will let you see it as well. If the weather holds up, we're going to be there. All right, that's it for now. Have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?